Hi everybody, welcome back to Be Wowed by April Lee. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is my Whip Wednesday, or like Ella calls it, what you working on Wednesday. I have two whips that I'm working on, and these I thought I was going to get done this weekend, but my weekend didn't go as planned. Shocker, right? Um, depression kicks in, I did a lot of sleeping, and just, you know, whatever. But I do have them almost all done. My first whip is in one of my favorite bags. It has farm animals all over it. It has sock monkey in there. And this is one of Jane from Scraptastic Yarns. It has the yellow interior and her tag. So if you do, I know she's going to be putting more bags up. This is the simple drawstring bag. It's a nice size bag. If you do like her bags, I'm going to tell you right now. If you do or are looking for a project bag, please check out her bags when she posts them here soon. She did just do an update where she's going to be posting them, I believe, by this weekend. Um, her project bags are very well made, just like Ella's. As Ella's and hers are really the only two that I've ever bought so far. But I really love them. So, speaking of Ella, what's in this bag is something that Ella had done recently and that I am working on. Um, right now he looks a little funny, but this is going to be my Mr. Potato Head. These, I looks like they're a little bit too small, but I've already attached them there from the inside, so I'm not going to change that. But I do have his hands made I just need to sew on and I have one leg made and I need to do the uh, make the other leg so um, I will be having him as a finished whip here or a finished object shortly so that is my number one so I use um, this is black which is bunches of hugs um, this is light baby pink and I think this is a um, a super saver my favorite color buff this is um, stitch studio classic oops I'm losing all the pieces stitch studio classic by Nicole um, this is a yarn that I used to get when AC Moore was still open. It is a normal everyday 100% acrylic. It's a four weight. It is 372 yards and it is a super soft yarn. I absolutely love this yarn. Unfortunately, now you can still get this. I can't remember which maker or which company has this. But you can still get this, I believe, uh, or at least you were able to when um, AC Moore first went out of business. They were kind of bought up by Michaels. So that is whip number one. My whip number two I've been working on for a while now. And it is a monkey. This pattern is by Stringy Ding Ding. Usually her free patterns are all like smaller patterns, but she decided to make a larger pattern, and I would say this is larger. Now I did make it with, I believe, one size up in the hook size. Um, let me see what hook I'm using. Oh, I have this in my little basket that I kind of made. Uh, I just kind of wanted to make a basket one day. Uh, let's see. I am using a 4.5. So, and I believe she made hers with a 4. But I am using, I, I had a big ball, like a big skein of Erin. I believe I want to say it was Karen One Pounder, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then I'm using Burnett Super Value in the color Royal Purple. And I used, this is this was a brand new skein, and I've made everything that I need to, and I still have that much that 
and the skein. Um, Burnett Super Value, if you're not familiar with it, really quick I will let you know, it is a 100% acrylic. It is 100 or 7 ounce and is approximately 426 yards. So you get a lot of yardage. A lot of my mama Caleb would love this because you do get a lot of uh, yardage. And I don't remember it being super expensive because I would never have bought it if it was expensive. And then like I said, this is called Royal Purple Number 53311. It is a beautiful, you can wash it and dry it, which is, well, you don't have to worry about that with the uh, stuffies, but um, yeah, so this is really nice yarn. And it is soft. It's not like extra super, oh, I gotta have it soft. It's, it's soft. So it's worth it. And I have all this stuff, like I said, I have here is the feet and the tail. There's a two feet in the tail. And then here is the arms. So I just need to sew that together. And that will become a finished object. That is all that I'm working on right now. I am going to get that blanket out and this weekend and work on it. I have to get that done because I am just going to kind of hang on to it until I can go back to my uh, back to Pennsylvania for a visit. Um, so I can give that to the people that it is intended to. Um, really quick life update. Um, my friend Mike is still fighting for his life with the brain bleed and the brain swelling. Um, haven't had a new update since Friday or Saturday. Uh, so I'm expecting one here shortly. Um, so any continued prayers would be certainly greatly appreciated. I know I'm praying like heck. I have not prayed so much in my life. Um, and then Friday... I got a call from my brother telling me that my father, our father, has one to two years to live. Um, now he's been in poor health, so I, you know, it's it's always been kind of expected eventually. Um, but apparently, they found an aneurysm. Um, they were going to remove it surgically. But because his COPD is so severe, they said that he will not come off the ventilator after surgery, so they will not do it. Um, so obviously, if you and anyone knows anything about aneurysms, it could happen at any time, but the doctor is giving him max one to two years. So I am trying to get home to visit my family, spend some time with my father, and then also save up money so that I have it back um, for when that call comes in, I can just, you know, jump in the car and go. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to keep my car that I have now and just get a rental car. But a rental car is like 550 to $600 each time. Or do I put that money towards another vehicle, trade in my car, and get a vehicle that I can drive back and forth and not have to rent a car. I'm kind of pushing that way, but with my credit history, it's not the greatest, so we shall see. It's just things I got to think of in my head. So that's all I'm going to do with this video today. It's going to be a short and sweet one, and I do have other videos coming up. Um, I have other plans. Again, I'm going to mention Fetch Rewards if you didn't hear my spiel with the last video. If you um, do not use Fetch Rewards, you need to because all you do is download an app. Every time you go shopping, you take your receipt and you snap a picture of it. It will give you points. You earn so many points, you turn those points into gift cards. And those gift cards can be anything from Amazon, uh, store cards like JCPenney's, um, I don't know all the ones, you know, or food stores or Visa gift cards. Um, and it could be anything from getting gas, getting prescriptions, um, you know, getting pizza, going to the Dollar Tree, going to Walmart. You can even set it up to where it links with your Amazon account. And every time you purchase something on Amazon and once it's marked as shipped, you do, um, you basically do the e-gift e or e-receipts 
and let it run through and it will find those through your e uh, Amazon account and it will give you points through there. Or if you link it through your email, if you get an e-receipt, like I get something that I pay $1.6 for a month. I get a points for that because it runs and it will collect points. Then I, I'm so close. I've only been doing it for like maybe a month and a half to two months and I am really close to getting my first gift card. All you do is snap a picture and you're earning and the gift cards are like $10 to, to you know start out. You can get a smaller one if you want. I chose to hold out for the larger one. If you download this and use it just with the first snap of your first um, receipt, I think if you use my code, you'll get at least 2,000, I think, maybe even 3,000 um, points as the bonus just for trying it. So give it a shot. I'm going to link it in the description box below so you can try it and use my promotion code if you don't mind because that will help me and it will help you. I Like I said, I think it's fantastic. I use it all the time. I get excited when I get to snap a picture and watch my, my points go up. Then again, I don't really have a life, so that little thing amuses me. Anyhow, I hope you all have a great day. Um, I have more videos coming up shortly, uh, so stay tuned. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I love to hear comments, so please post a comment below. Let me know what you're working on or anything like that. Just say hey or, you know, life updates or whatever. I just love to hear from you all. All right, well, thank you so much again, and be kind to everybody, and just remember, try to do something nice out of the kindness of your heart to somebody, because that kindness just might mean everything to that person. Like, for instance, I'll, and I'm going down a rabbit hole, but I, I really want to share this with you, and I forgot. Yesterday, I was having a really horrible mental health day, and I get... A video chat from my baby cousin's daughter Adriana she's like I think seven now and she says hi April how are you today and then she says when am I gonna get to visit with you again and I told her that I plan on coming home in a few months she says okay well have a good day love you bye it was like a minute call but just seeing her on video knowing that she thought about me that very moment to say, hi, how are you? When am I going to get to see you again? And I love you meant the world to me. She is such an angel. I, I text her mom and I said, your daughter is an absolute angel. She's just fantastic. So doing something like that small for somebody is just, it, you have no idea what that could mean to that person at that time. So show some kindness do that random act of kindness hold a door for somebody or if you're seeing somebody say hi to them how are you how's your day going just never know what that could mean so anyhow you know just remember kindness is free all right take care everybody i love y'all and see you in my next video